the card for today is Moor. I think I said that right. The C. Um, I'll show you the OM sign. The OM was originally broken up into um, 20 characters um, and they were broken up into four groups and then um, recently, and I, and I say recently, like hundreds of years recently, um, they added five more letters to um, accommodate more languages more understanding of the language um, and this is one of the latter characters that was added and um, make that focus better this is actually character 25 which stands for a e x i and x um, and this card is um, obviously about the sea um, and again is not a tree because in the Celtic tradition there is the land of the sea and the sky and this is obviously the sea um, which represents our yearning to travel um, and whether that be travel spiritually travel ancestrally or actually travel to the place of our ancestors is typically the meaning um, to gain more spiritual clarity about our lives um, you might be called to delve deeper into your spiritual practices or a spiritual practice that has kind of been nagging at you or gnawing on you lately. Uh, for me, uh, my Celtic roots have been, you know, really beckoning to me for over five years and I have done a little bit here, done a little bit there, and I have really taken into um, my daily practice a lot more of the Celtic traditions. Um, I'm reading folk stories. Um, I am learning online about the Oum script. I am learning about the different um, celebrations and their different meanings um, as compared to you know what I was raised with in America. And um, Celtic is not, you know, Irish is not my only deeply rooted heritage. I'm also uh, Native American, so it's a very interesting intersect when you combine, you know, the spiritual aspect of Native American culture and the spiritual aspect of the Irish culture. They're very similar, they overlap in a lot of ways, and yet they vary um, as well. And so it's um, been an interesting journey for me, and I would encourage you to take that up for yourself as well to look into your roots. Um, it will bring you a lot of um, peace. Maybe not initially. Uh, it brings up a lot of stuff from inside that innately you felt and maybe couldn't clear up. But it also you know, gives you forms of answers or leads you to answers for yourself that offer you a lot of peace. Um, I found it quite interesting that today is the celebration of the new moon in Leo. And here we have the C, which is typically, this card typically represents the full moon, but it is also a call to start to recognize the lunar patterns and how the lunar patterns are affecting your daily life. Um, another aspect of this card that is um, deeply important is the maternal aspect of your life and um, connecting to the maternal influences, your mother obviously, or mother figures, that have been very important in your life are something to acknowledge today, something to consider and something to look back on and understand. Um, one of the really important aspects of the sea in a spiritual way is unconditional love. Um, the sea asks us to remember that it is a wealth of unconditional love for us. Um, and it asks us to let that love flow through us to others in the world. Um, unconditional love is love without judgment and love without expectation. And it is a necessary quality to help change the things that really need changed in the world is you know, love without attachment, love without agenda, and love without criticism. 
and these aspects, you know, we're being called to honor and acknowledge and um, make a new connection with those concepts today. Um, it's, you know, time to use our gifts to heal. Water is always, you know, a healing property to it. Um, I'm sorry, it has a healing property to it. You know, tears are healing. Uh, there's a lot of mythology and a lot of um, spiritual stories about the purity and cleansing abilities of the water. You know, people go to the Dead Sea because it is um, highly mineraled and then you take you know, the, the mud from that water and it is known to to help ease the ailments of uh, various skin conditions and the sea is asking us to use the waters that we encounter um, to heal and to honor the the waters that we do have whether it be lakes and streams or um, rivers and oceans, whatever the water is, to take care of it, to honor it, and to acknowledge its healing properties in our lives, and allow ourselves to use the water stored within us, you know, our tears, even our sweat, to purify our bodies, to purify the blockages that we may have so that we can let unconditional love flow through us. So today take some time to connect with water, to connect with your um, deep feminine energies, whether you're male or female, um, to connect with unconditional love and let it flow like water through you into the world. <laughs>